Okay, so in this video, we're gonna use image J to learn how to, how to use image J to measure angles. So I'm gonna open up a picture here. So one of my students is looking at phototropism with uh, different wavelengths of light. So this is one of her examples from her preliminary experiment. So I'm gonna use this. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it and to put it upside down. Um, this will make sense in a moment. It's just, it's a little bit easier to, to analyze if you do it this way, okay? Um, of course, one of the questions here is how do you begin um, to analyze this in a way to, that um, will generate some data? And I don't have a good answer for this one. She's actually redoing it because this kind of didn't quite, the measurements are kind of hard. but. For, for this, we're just going to assume I'm going to measure the angle that it's coming compared to the, the top of the, the plant, the planter here, the, the pot. So what I'm going to do is I've clicked on the angle tool here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to click on the stem. And I'm just going to kind of follow that down to the top of the pot. And then I'm going to click again, and then I'm going to pull that out into a straight line. So what, basically what it's measuring is the angle right here. So I go up to analyze, measure, and it'll pop up here with the angle, okay? So what I would do is just continue to do that with each of these. Um, so click on that, go down to that. Oh, sorry, I messed it up. Click, go down to the edge. And do that, measure that, and it pops up there. So a quick um, quick shortcut key is is M, right? And then I could go to this one, which has a slightly stronger angle or a bigger angle, like that, and then Command M, <clears throat> and get that. So you can go through all of these and, and, and measure the angles fairly quickly and fairly accurately too. Um, but again, it's gonna depend on how you set up, how you take the picture and make sure you keep a lot of those things consistent and that um, your students or, or yourself develop a consistent way to, to do that, okay? So I hope that helps and gives you some kind of ideas of how you can measure angles. Thank you.